This is Fox 45 News at 10. You rent a place to live in, but how safe is it? From carbon monoxide to black mold, how your apartment could be making you sick, or even worse, putting your life at risk. So who's in charge of inspecting these properties? We investigate. You won't believe what we found out. That's right. Who's looking out for renters in the Miami Valley when dirty water and the lack of water entirely is a frequent problem at a mobile home park? Who can help? When mold overtakes an apartment, sickening the woman who lives there, who can help? Well, our Kelly May is live right now with the unbelievable findings of this Fox 45 investigation. Well, Deborah, what we found out is shocking when tenants live in unsafe conditions like here in Kettering, water built up in these buckets, a leak and ceiling collapse. Now, when it comes to local landlords, who's holding them accountable? What we found out, no one. I mean, we have rights. Just because we're not rich don't mean that we want to live like this. Vanessa Van Camp didn't know what to do about the mold and leaks in Kettering's Embassy Arms apartment. And that's what I'm angry about, that there's nobody that stands up for us tenants here. We've had damage to our trailer for a year now almost, and, you know, it's a renter, you want it fixed, it's still not done. At Pineview Estates in Miami Township, John's planning to move because of that damage and lack of clean water. Whether it's on township, city, county, or state level, somewhere there has to be somebody that has a voice for the tenant. For Vanessa and John, we went to find out there are no agencies in the Miami Valley to police negligent landlords, not one. That's uh, a call that I get often is just, well, my landlord's just not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, you know, somebody ought to do something about it. City of Dayton's Human Relations Council advises tenants with that question to document the problem because Ohio law states landlords must provide a livable unit. Certainly, um, a landlord could have a, a different idea of what's livable. Attorney Kelly Bartlett works for Kelly. Legal Aid of Western Ohio, providing free advice over rental yeah. issues. She recommends if you can't get an issue fixed, take your rent money to the courts and put it in escrow, but there's not a lot of options. Other than filing an action against them, certainly um, some jurisdictions have housing inspection departments. Here's what we uncovered about building inspectors for the city of Dayton, Montgomery and Greene counties. None are tasked with inspecting rentals before a tenant can lease, making the rental market a tenant beware situation. Separate from rent escrow, a landlord could be criminally cited for um, having a nuisance property, that's typically, typically going to be related to the exterior of the structure. Back at Embassy Arms, that means Vanessa Van Camp is at a stalemate with how to get this health hazard cleaned up. We need somebody to be concerned because this is our hard earned money that we're giving to these landlords, slum or not. Back out here live, since we began our investigation, we've heard the frustrations from renters all over the Miami Valley. We're going to stay on this and see who will take responsibility for protecting these people. For now, live in Kettering tonight, Kelly Mayfox, 45now.com.